my dear crafters today I'm going to share with you a few dies that were sent to me and it, the name of the company is Coco Rosa Studios they contacted me a few months ago and we've been talking back and forth because I want to be really careful what about what I show you I want to make sure that they're good products that they don't infringe any copyright or things like that and I have to say, uh, my exchange with them was very good. I have, I have looked at their website and they have very creative dyes, very good quality. So they sent a few to me free of charge. And I did ask them, it's okay, you can send me. Uh, I will choose the ones that I want. But I do want a discount for my subscribers and for people who watch my videos. So they did give me a coupon and I'll have all the links below. I'll have a link to the page that they created with all the dyes that I bought in case you're interested. And also the discount code, okay? So yeah, of course, I wanted you to enjoy these dyes as well. And the other thing about these dyes is that, I mean, they're great quality. I'll show you and we're going to work with one of them. But also, their prices are really, really, really affordable. You know, guys, that uh, dyes are the most, I think they're the most expensive things and supplies that we can buy for card making and paper crafting in general. And their prices are really good. So I'll make sure to let you know how much each one of these dies cost as well, okay? So what we're going to do today, I'm going to go through the dies, show you, because I already had some cut. And also, at the end, stick with me, we're going to make this beautiful Halloween card, guys. And I made it using three of the dies that I'm going to show you. So this is a beautiful card, just say boo, and we're going to make this together at the end, okay? Look at that. So, stick to the end and we'll do that. And I'll show you the paper and all the materials that I used. I'm going to put this aside and the first one I want to show you is this one. This actually makes a lamp, a Halloween lamp. We, I'm going to make it at some point, but today I just want to show you how good the quality is. This was like one run only and it is intricate, but it came up perfectly. So what you do to make the lamp is just actually just glue these two parts. You have to, of course, fold it. And I'm going to show you how to do this in another video. But to, for today, I just want to, sh I want to show you the die itself. Look at that. It's really, really cute. So that's the first die. I'm going to put this aside. The second one, I, I chose most of them were, I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you guys. The mo most of the dyes that I chose were Halloween re related because as I've, I've told you before, I don't have much. So this is another one. Oh, before I forget, this one here, the lamp, this one is $5.99, okay? So I want you to just to make sure that you know the prices. This one, I love, I just love this little guy here. And that's why I chose this one. I, 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 these are cute too. So let me just show you the dies after they've been cut. So very, very nice. You have these little things here that you can add to, the, to this guy here. Um, I just love ghosts. And some of them are so cute. This one is. So that's another die. This one, just so you know, is 319 okay and you're gonna get a discount so it's gonna be less for you it's 15% off that I got the other one this one is not Halloween related but this is one of those dies that you're going to use over and over again it's actually these two dies that's the leftover they come together like this I love gates and I use them a lot gates or this is actually a window that you would just flip let me show you. I already cut for you. Very intricate and beautiful. And they already come perforated here. So it makes it easy for you to just fold it like this and use it in your card. Well, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making some things. Well, look at that. See? It's perfect. It's like a window. 
you can either use it open like that or you can close it and, and leave it like half opened. So very nice dye. This is the kind of dye that I'm going to use over and over again and I'm sure I'm going to make something for Christmas with that. And this is the white picket fence. So one of those dyes that you're going to use a lot and this one just so you know is $7.99. Seven and nine for these two. You know it's a good price, guys. We know the price of dyes out there. The next one I absolutely fell in love with this one. That's the dye, the dye that comes with this little guy here, <laughs> the spider in her creation. So that's the dye, and this one was let me see where eight dollars. So that's the most expensive one of all. But $8, guys, we know how much this costs usually, and very good quality. I ran through my machine once, and here's the result. Look at that. You can use this as a background dye on your cards, but I have plans for this. I'm going to make a video using this for a card, but a matching box as well. So just keep coming back to the channel, and I'm going to use this dye in the future, and I'm going to show you how to use it, okay? So that's another one, and we have two more, and these are the ones that we're actually going to use today for the card that I showed you. This one, I absolutely loved it because it comes with so many items. I just love the haunted house, again, love ghosts. This little lady here is so cute. The cat, I mean, spider, bats, you have it all. You have it all for a beautiful... It's one of those dies that you're going to use over and over again for Halloween. Let me show you all the elements cut. I love this hand here. And as you can see, that's the one that I used for the card. So for the card, I used most of the most of these elements. So that's the hand. And this little cat is from actually the lamp. So I'm going to use three different dies today for the card, okay? So that's the one, and this one is $4.19. So, and you're gonna, again, you're gonna get a discount, so it's gonna be less than that. It's gonna be a little bit over three. The next die, and that's the main one that we're going to use for the card, as you can see here. Let me show you the card again. That's the one that I used. So, Beautiful, beautiful dye. I love it. I already have it cut in black to show you what it looks like. Look at that. Just so you can see how beautiful it is. And I'm actually thinking of doing a, like a series of cards with this one. And what I'll do is I, I'll cut, well, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I can make 11 cards. I'll just cut one for each color different colors and then I'm going to just put these pieces here very colorful using the 11 colors just mix and match and we're going to have like 11 cards with this it's going to look beautiful but this time I look I just used it for Halloween it's not a Halloween um, dye but that's what I use it for so that's the is that the last one yes so this is the last one so now guys let's move on to make the card. So for the card, let me show you the paper that I used first, because as you can see, there's a beautiful background in this card here. So this is the background. And for that, what I did was, I used this paper. Let me just zoom out, oh, zoom out, not in. I used this paper here I bought it at Michael's. If you see my haul, my uh, Halloween haul, I'll have the link below for you so you can watch the video. Uh, this is a paper that I bought at Michael's. And this is actually the page that I, no, that's not the page that I used. Let me show you the page, the page that I used, okay? This is a beautiful paper. I've been using it for Halloween stuff. But see, that's the page, the page that I used. I just cut the piece of paper the size that I wanted and I used it as a background. So it's called, called Midnight Garden. Midnight Garden Jardin. I don't know, that's French. I don't speak French <laughs> by recollections, okay? 
So that's what we're going to use. And also inside of the card, as you saw, I stamped just say boo. And that's from this stamp set here by Echo Park. I'll have the link below for you. And it's called just say boo stamp set. It's a great stamp set. The light is not helping here, but it's a great stamp set. I love this line here with these little guys dancing. And it has some sentiments and it's really cool. That's the one that I use here, just say boo. Okay, so quick card for you. Beautiful quick card. So I already have, first thing we're going to do is, going to bring my cuddle bug and we are going to cut with this, um, this guy here, we're going to cut the tree. I am dying to make a series of cards with this tree because I think it can be so colorful. So I'm going to have this. I'm going to put the die and move here so you can see. Just gonna, well, this is something you don't really need to see, but sometimes you like to see it. I usually put a little piece of paper here just to help with the cutting, but that's how my machine works. Every machine is different, as you know. If you have one, if you have one, you know that they all use different sandwiches. And mine, I usually have to add a little bit piece of so that's it. That's it for cutting paper today. So here we are. Look at that. See these little pieces here? If you cut different colors, you can actually just substitute and, and use one of each color or maybe two colors only and just do different tones of blue or any other color and just fill it up. And it can be very, very colorful card for you. So let me just Okay, so that's done, beautifully cut, as you saw. I'm gonna put this aside. So what I'm gonna do is, I already have, I'm just gonna put this here so you see the final, our final product, okay? I already have here a piece, I already put, this was a black card base, and I just added a piece of gold paper to be just for the sides here. You can just put two strips on the side too, but I just put the whole thing. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to, we're gonna glue this. Let's put this aside, it's kind of messy in here, guys. So what I usually do is I have two layers here because it's, I don't know, it just pops more. What I'm gonna do first is to glue these two layers. So just put some some glue here. And you have to have one of these little bottles because it really, really helps so that you don't put too much glue. These little bottles are the best invention ever, honestly. That's all I use for my cards because I use a lot of intricate things and you really need a bottle that doesn't really put too much glue. And you need thin layers of glue. So that's just put some more here on the side. And this glue I'm using, my favorite glue, this one, Art Glitter. I always have a link for it because and it glues so fast, so you have to really be careful with it. It doesn't give you a lot of wiggle room. There you go. Perfect. So that's done. So it's just thicker. That's that's a, When it's intricate, guys, I usually do that. I usually do at least two layers. It does help. Okay, so that's done. Next thing we're going to do is to glue these two pieces here. Look at that, how gorgeous this. That, I'm, I'm telling you, this paper is perfect for background. You can use it here or here. Let me see which one I like best. I think here, because I can see more stars, yeah. Okay, so that's it, so we're gonna glue 
and then we are going to add our elements with some glue my hands sometimes at the end of the day they're using some glue everywhere well it's the gotta do what you gotta do right guys there we go good enough okay so i already cut it the perfect size so all i need to do now is to just make sure it's well placed yeah there you go look how gorgeous i mean just this you don't need much else do you now next thing we're gonna do is we are going to pick up that this guy here i'm bringing back my cuddle bug it's been with me for i don't know at least i don't know 10 years or something that's why it needs a shin so we are going to use this die now i don't think it even needs this i'm not even going to use that so i like to show you that um when I cut because it shows it helps show the quality of the die as well guys these dies are good and they're very good price so get this out of the way goodbye cuddle bug don't need you today anymore sometimes I spend hours just cutting stuff under the cuddle bug there you go look at that Perfect. So let's just get our guys out of here. The ones that we're going to use. So we're going to use this one. We're going to use the cat. Hey guys, something happened to my computer. I'm so sorry. I am so frustrated, but it happens. And uh, it corrupted the file. So you did not see me finishing the card. But basically you saw the main thing. I had glued this on the, on, on the mat. And all I did after that was just just pick up those uh, images that I wanted and I glued it on the front and then at the end I stamped just say boo and I added this one instead of the of the bat because on this one I had a bat as you remember so that is that is it for today I am a little frustrated because but really it's not worth it doing the whole thing again because it's easy I mean the next steps were very easy I hope you had fun and I'll make sure to have all the links below to the discount to the page that has all these dies that I bought and just take a look and see what you're interested in it's really good dies and very very affordable thank you so much guys for being here with me today again today's Friday so weekend is coming great for crafting have a great weekend, guys. I'll see you on my next video.